nice. But I like Lance Hisha. You ever like me over in other people's video? I jack it like it blood clad. What? <laughs> And we're live. Good morning, hey. everyone. Uh, I, need to angle this I put my heater right here on the floor because it's uh, it's a little chilly in here. I, they have um the the AC is on in our office even though <coughs> it's um. Is it's there any What? Even though it's like very very cold. Um. So that's really weird that they do that. Instead of heat, they put the AC, and it's like blasting. I don't, I don't understand. Um, but it's another, it's another great day to be alive. I'm very, very, very excited. Yesterday was very productive. Um, got some really cool shit done. It was nice. So. Um, we, we got on, we got on a phone call with a guy who, he runs like a, a virtual tour company. So basically like Matterport tour, like 3D tours. And so he's looking for someone who can handle like the photo video. Um, he was, he was a little roundabout in the way he spoke. He's a freelancer with a Matterport camera and a website. Which is, uh, he has a big vision. I'm not saying he doesn't, but You're I'm You're a piece of shit, Steph. I'm you always th shit on other people, and we're small, too. Like, do you know how many people talk about us in those terms? And we have big dreams and big goals, too. I'm not disagreeing. So you meant that in the kindest way, right? I can't call it how it is. I look, that's what it is. It's not, that's not what it is, Steph. First of all, he ran a very successful company before. I'm not shitting on the guy. Are you sure? I don't know what the fuck is going on, Mike. No, I what really is? Don't. how else can that be interpreted? You're like, oh yeah, he's just a guy with a Matterport camera. He's just a freelancer with a Matterport camera. This is literally what That's what saying. he is right now with a website. And that is meant to be what? Like, that's not nice, Steph. I don't know if you don't know this, but that's not nice. And it doesn't sound nice. So even if you meant it nice, or if you meant, I'm just saying what it is. That's it's not necessary, and it, it makes it sound like you're a hateful person. Because I'm pretty sure in some circles this is how people speak of us, like, and it's not true. So, don't don't talk about people like that. If if you are a person who, oh, I'm just being honest. No, you're just a piece of shit. So. Yeah, so he called and you know, you never know. You never know. You always say the meeting. I don't like people who they just go on and on and on about themselves. That's always a red flag for me. Um, and he did some of that. <laughs> he also was talking about like bringing other people onto the team. Like, you know, if you need more photographers or videographers, we can train people in this and that. I'm like, all right, uh, here's what we'll do. Well, Once he, <laughs> he said, you can train people. Yeah. He's, but he's saying he has people that but we could train and bring them onto the team. But then he's also like, yeah, we can partner and we can this and that. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening here. So I stopped him. I was like, all right, here's what we'll do. Once the next job you get, you let me know and we can come in and we'll do it together. Um, and if because I might hate you, you might hate me as well as it might work out. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's do it. Um, let's let's take it one step at a time. Get the first job. Bring me in. We'll do it. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, it's still great. So, because like we could use him because we do not have a Matterport camera, and um, we need a Matterport. We partner. have a guy though. We do have a guy. Arthur. He's not expensive. 
he's not expensive and he's very very nice and he's good oh nice guy you know? a little weird the first time we met him yeah but he was very excited to be in a very expensive home and that's not even one of the more luxury ones it was like um, mid lower mid-range at best but he was really like freaking out lower mid-range no it wasn't mid-range what, what would you say I, it's lower high end okay it's like a, it was a really nice building the apartment just wasn't great okay well i mean when you compare that to 551 or 556 so i'm not like disagreeing with you but the building was really nice so it was like the area was really nice and everything it's in um it's in um it's off spring street yeah so like soho mm -hmm. um that makes <coughs> sense. yeah it's a nice area nice i mean the apartment was fucking fabulous I mean, but the rooms were small and yeah. it was like kind of weird the setup know, of that just, place was weird, and it was like I compared that to like yeah, I think so many of the other places the, that we've been. Like, <laughs> I think the reason you're saying that too is because like the staging was so shit. I think that's what it is, right? Because yeah. the house was really nice. Like if you yeah. looked at it bare bones, it was like really nice. Yeah. True. Except for that plug. Do you remember that? <laughs> that was fucking crooked. There's a plug directly next to a <laughs> vertical wall. It did not bother me. No, it didn't bother him, but it's like it is weird that you see that in a, that kind of home. Noel goes, or, or creative director goes, "Do you want to do? You, I can ruin your day." And he had apparently showed it to Steph before, and, and he goes, "It's not gonna bother him." And he was like, "Oh, the the outlet is crooked." It's like, who gives a shit? Just put a toaster in front of it, or put the blender in front of it. It care. was on the ground. But was it on the ground? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like on. The <laughs> oh yeah, he put the, the toaster on the floor. <laughs> Ceiling fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, it was like a little crazy. Anyway, that was a little weird for like a what was it, three and a half million dollar home? Was it three point five? Yeah, something around that range. Yeah. Um, or two point nine or something, somewhere in that range. But yeah, the the furniture in there was shit. I mean, our artwork is still up in there. I'm gonna reach out to Douglas Elliman and find out what's going on. Yeah. And be like, hey man. Hey Douglas Elliman, can you guys look into this, please? Okay. So what happened is that we there's a gentleman. Should I say his name? I'm gonna say yeah, his name. Yeah, you can. His say name his is name. Josh Rubin from Douglas Elliman. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Because we've spoken to other people, and without saying his name, they go, "Is it Josh Rubin?" And I'm like, "Yeah," because I would start the conversation by saying, "So we were taken advantage of by a realtor from Elliman." And he's a real fucking scumbag, and his fucking wife is a piece of shit too. Um, and basically, we had an agreement with them to supply the artwork, and in exchange, they would promote us on their social media, they would allow us to host events at the space, um, and every time they did a walkthrough, they would mention that the art was provided by a creator. We did also fuck up with them. In terms of what? Should have had them sign the contract before we did the install. Oh, yeah. The fucking Let's be guy. Clear here. Yeah, we sent him a contract and he never signed. Never signed. And I reached out to him multiple times like, hey, this and that. But I was, which, which was so naive and such a novice move was that. We were moving fast because we wanted to we get it. We were moving fast. He gave us three apartments to do, which was great because we got a lot of content um, and we were able to meet some really cool people. Like we met Jules, um, I met some people from his team and they're still contacts so far. So good things came out of it. We got really good content from it too. But also back then we weren't, <laughs> a lot of that content is like unusable because we had like a gimbal that wasn't some of that. stabilized. Yeah. And I think we could have done a better job of m pulling more content from the space. Yeah. Like, you know, like a dining area, like doing like a really cool picture of that, like good shit from it that we can repurpose and reuse and cut up. We also didn't have a camera. Yeah, the we didn't have a good camera. Um, so. But whatever, but water under whatever. the bridge, we learned from it. Yeah. I mean, our shit's still there, so hopefully we can, I mean, we have to get it back. He sold one of the apartments. What do you mean? 
Yes, he sold one of the apartments. So the girl was saying, come get the stuff. I was like, <coughs> if I come get, but this was like months ago. I was like, if I come get it, I want all of my work because mm -hmm. you guys are not signing. Like, why aren't you signing? I want all of my shit. And then she just stopped emailing me. And I've called multiple times, but I'm gonna reach out to, actually, let me- I, I'm gonna make it a mission of mine that once we uh, make money and start really getting it, I'm gonna sue the shit out of him. We can do that, right? Of course. Yeah. I want this guy to fucking burn to the ground for the piece of shit he's being. Yeah, I just want the artwork back. I don't really <laughs> care about okay. this guy. Stop look at him. He's so sad. I know, but he's I want to like, make him more sad. He's sad and gross. He when is pretty gross looking. He eats like he, a fucking animal. He eats worse than I do. I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, he, he's... he's uh, yeah, I, I don't care about this person. He's not... He doesn't, he, he, I don't think I would even consider him. How does he sell, how is he like a big agent? I don't understand. I want him to fucking just melt into the ground. Yeah, that's <laughs> With his fucking Vespa. Oh my God, he drives a Vespa. Or he rides a Vespa. It's so sad. He's like this short, fat little fuck. <laughs> no, I don't have anything about, again, short people or fat people, because I'm short and kind of pudgy but um like i it's yeah he's not cute anyway um yeah it's pretty gross so i i i do not think of him but i want my work yeah there's a lot of work in there yeah a lot, of very, a lot of very expensive art from some of our top people yeah. so that's not okay anyway <laughs> anyway um, so we have two meetings set up for next week. Yay! Very, very big meetings. I'm How's very, the Ari stuff excited. coming along? He sent me, he got a response from a guy yesterday. It wasn't like super positive, but you know, people are responding to it. He forwarded it to me. What did it say? It said we are, we're a hedge fund and we don't need any photo video right now, but we'll keep you in mind because we do from time to time. Yeah, they, they always do. So. This like, stuff's I'll good because it. it's really easy with the money with them. Oh yeah, they'll just write a check. They yeah, they and it's not a lot of money. Like, you what know, do you mean? like it's not a lot of money for them. Oh yeah, the video them. work or whatever. But you charge a lot though because like. Yeah, you charge a lot, and you. So, I know I'm pulling it back actually. Oh. Okay. Um, you charge a lot. This is Hugo Mejia. Yeah, you charge a lot, and then you. Oh, we got this one back recently actually. From five um, five one. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you charge a lot. But you also have to be fucking on point with your shit. Like, it has to be perfect. I think we should talk about the art piece every morning that we have up. Like, who it's from and yeah. where they can get it, how much it Sometimes is. Sometimes I do that. You do? I've done it a few times. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this is Hugo Mejia. I think this is a $900 piece. Yeah. Um, it's pretty big. It's like three by two. Is that? Hmm. It's definitely not three. It's not three feet? No. It's 18 by probably 30. No, not 28. 18. 24 by 20 by 36. That's three feet. Maybe it is three feet. I think maybe you should just relax. <laughs> I know my feet. <laughs> anyway. I'll um, show you something about feet. What were you talking about? What? What were you saying? The painting. No, you were saying something before that. What was I saying before that? Okay. Um, so we have two meetings for next week, and these are really big meetings. One of the women, right now, she has a $90 million apartment. And all of their team, the apartments are like that price range. 90 million, 50 million, 60 million, 35 million. You know, that's what they're working with. And it was a referral from one of my BNI partners, so let's hope. Yeah. Um, and then I had another woman last night who um, who messaged me to set up a meeting. I should send her a thing. She set it up off the website. Yeah. No, the off office? an email. Oh. Um, her name is Dina. I don't remember her last name, so I can't look up her listings. But her listings are like really, 
really big also. You want to talk about the call we had last night? Which one? Rose. 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 Rose, my darling Rose. Okay. <laughs> this is by far my favorite client. Do you want to jump in and, and talk about No, me? I think okay. you should because you're so excited about okay. it. Okay. Rose is literally my favorite client. Rose is this larger than life, literally and metaphorically, larger than life. I don't, I, I don't know why I did this. Larger than life f character. She's this just she's not like. Not even a person, she's a character. Yeah, like, no. This is how, this is how Rose talks. Hi, Mark. So I want you to go ahead and look at the pictures. I got, I sent you some of the pictures. Why don't you use some of that for the pictures? This is what I want. I'm telling you that I have my website where nothing happens on the website. I mean, usually, <laughs> usually I'd be like, no, Mark's exaggerating. He's joking, but he's not. It's really Oh my God. She is amazing. I am in love with her. I called her yesterday as I was finishing up all my follow-ups because yesterday I finished all the follow-ups from last year because of people who said, oh, message me in the new year, this and that. I, I finished all that yesterday. And this woman, I just called her for comic relief because we did a, we did a, fo a photo shoot for her and um, some 3D you stuff. You didn't have the most phenomenal day yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great day. He didn't have such a good day. Yeah. But so we did the. Where did that come from? I'm just giving you context. I'm giving them context. Oh, but what does that have to do with the Rose story? Because I feel like that's why you called her for comic relief. Oh no, I called her because I she makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is a good way to talk about our clients. <laughs> no, she's a funny woman. I like her. I don't think she's not. No, Mark. She's not a funny woman. You find her funny. Yeah, I find <laughs> her. <laughs> Let's be clear here. I find her really amusing. She's not like an. Um, she's not a. a com she's not a comedian. Yeah, no. She's not like cracking jokes. Yeah. Mark finds her funny I as a person, her amazing. just in general existence. I mean, if someone talks like that, like. What did she say that made me crack up? Like, I could I was laughing. I started something laughing. Something about the website. So, okay. <laughs> so I called her. Because we did a photo shoot for a listing of hers, and it was a fucking clusterfuck. Because she was saying one thing, then she brought in a business partner. Thank God. The photo shoot went fine. The photo shoot was fine. <laughs> they great. loved the photo, but Nothing they happened. wanted they wanted virtual staging. Yeah. And so we figured that out. We finally we got it out, done. It was a mess. It was a clusterfuck. They wanted too many things for yeah. not enough money. For not enough money. Okay. So we got through that, and I laughed my way through the whole ordeal. But it was hellish. Anyway, um, actually... <laughs> Mark says it was hellish, but I was the one doing all the edits. <laughs> no, I was the one having to deal with them. That's true, but you liked it. I love every minute of it. When I first called her, my friend was at my house. She called me, and I was at home, and my friend was there. He was just, like, fucking, like, literally laying on my bed. And I was talking to her, and I had her on speakerphone. And he goes, put it on mute. He's like... It's not a real person. How are you doing this? How are you not losing your shit? Because she's just a fucking mess. He's like, no, Mark, this is not what I told you that I wanted. This is not what I wanted. And it's too much money. It's too much money. And I'm like, oh, my. He goes, this is not a real person. I, she sounds exactly like stuff because that's some shit that he would have said. He was like, I'm not talking to this person. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like if someone if someone called me with that voice, I would have started laughing immediately on the phone. I wouldn't even be able to have a conversation with them. Oh my god! I've so, never spoken to this woman before. Yeah, he's never met her. Or nothing. I can't do that. I don't think yeah. I could. Be, I could do it. So we finally got through that, and so yesterday I called her. You know, I'm checking up on my smaller clients to see, you know, if they have a photo shoot here and there. Because the good thing about the small business is that it keeps you afloat because when you work on like big projects what happens is that they take forever to pay you can't pay your bills but then when you get the little small jobs they pay right away you go today you do it you finish the edits they pay you get your money so that's how we survive 
Um, <laughs> so I was just like imagine reaching in, out. Like, two or three years when it's like we don't take small f- things. No, like a forty thousand dollar job is considered small. Oh my god. And we're doing like and we're doing big production stuff. <laughs> like this is just like a small part of the company, the staging. Oh. Great. That's where I'm trying to get to. Yeah, take that small job. It's sixty five thousand dollars. Just, uh, yeah. just ha- hammer it out in a few days. Hammer it out. But so I just called her, and all fucking hell broke loose on the phone. I was dying. He was dying. It was a whole thing. So it turned out she got me fucked up with something she said from the website. I laughed out loud. I couldn't do it. Yeah, he definitely just, did like, laugh out loud. I was very angry. The but she was just going on and on. I don't think she heard anything. Cause she just she just talks and she talks right over you. It's like a whole thing. I don't give a fuck. So That's she, the New York gal. <laughs> she um She's like, I've been in the business since the eighties. <laughs> so she wants a new website. <laughs> and we were able to like Her site is forty years old. Yeah, the site is not good. And she has two sites. I don't know. I don't know what the other one is. It's like a... A Columbia student made this for me. She sounds like she smokes five packs a day. I think she's just a bigger woman. and I think and she smokes. Like resting I think she smokes. She's Jewish. She probably... And she's like an... Ob- so like, she definitely smokes. No, oh, she's, she's not she's a like secular observer- Jew. Oh, okay. She's like... She observes Shabbat like every uh, Friday night. Like no, you can't call not. her between Friday and Saturday. Yeah, then probably not. Yeah, so I think she's just like a bigger woman. So she, it's I don't know, it's maybe her lungs is or her throat. Some is like her lungs is this? Yeah, her breast is is my breakfast. <laughs> that's what that's what Jay Z said. God, if you say that to her, Mark, <laughs> if her you do that to her, <laughs> uh, well, I like it. So who knows? You I like, like it? your boy, mm-hmm. Rose. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get her a new website. It's gonna be a five hundred dollar job, and she loves to fucking lowball. She doesn't like to pay the price. So I quoted her seven hundred. This I woman's taken- like, this woman's like, oh, <laughs> I got a, I got some guy in Texas that'll do it for me for one hundred fifty dollars. And Mark's just like, yeah, you can definitely go and do that, man. Yeah, <laughs> please go and use the guy in Texas. Go on ahead. Go ahead and use the Texas guy because there's no way you're gonna get a proper website for $150 and there's absolutely no way I'm doing it for $150. So let's just take that off the table. And she went quiet. I'm like, good for for first. That's new. Um, but I like Rose. I like her. I I I, had, I don't have a bad word to say, but I really do like her. <laughs> I think she's, she's fun. fun. She's funny. I find her amusing. It's a lot of work with her, her though. Yeah, I think she's pretty. She's pretty simple, especially when you get the other woman involved, <laughs> because she was going on and on, and then the other woman came on the phone and she was like, "No, I like it. This is good. I like it. It looks great." And you go, "Huh? All right." So <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. Can you believe today's Friday? The right. first. Week. I know, right? Can you believe that it's already passed by? I can't believe that the riots happened the first week. Oh my god. Fucking white supremacists in the Capitol. <laughs> I mean, it's been like that for a while, but. I love the guy who sat on the Senate floor in the Speaker's chair. <laughs> the guy with the, the, the mane or whatever, the oh beaver on his head. He literally sat in the Speaker's chair on the Senate floor. <laughs> well, a bunch of people did that though. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, it's such a sad day. Now the FBI is investigating, and I think people will get arrested. You didn't think America was a racist country? I mean, yeah, of course it is, though, but everyone knows that. Oh my god, the Capitol Police were, like, literally fist fighting with these people. Yeah. Well, they also let them in. I don't know why they were like uh, fighting like that with them. There should have been just like guns, and that's it. Yeah. It should have fucking made them sit down. They shouldn't even gotten in. What the fuck? Um, my big goal today is 80 emails for staging, and then on Monday I'm gonna follow up with all the emails that I sent out on Monday and Tuesday, and also all the stuff that I sent out last year, um, and just get the ball rolling. That's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to be listening to a lot of Obama. 
because this shit does not require any brain power. Nope. For once. For once. What do you do that requires brain power? Not much, except talk to Rose. <laughs> that uses up his whole, the whole damn thing, the whole brain. The whole noggin. The whole power of the brain. What you got going on? I'm just, I'm continuing today with what I had going on yesterday. But, um, more social media stuff. So more, um, where are we on? More this? edits coming along. Can you be any more vague? Yeah, I can be vaguer. It's yeah. happening. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm getting, I've gotten like my clips ready from yesterday. And then I have, today I'm gonna be doing some a few more just so I can prep up for the next like, sort of like the two weeks of starting. So I have content for those two weeks. I have everything right now. It's like what we're gonna do and what we're gonna post. So I got the Hero Post website organized for us. I connected up all the accounts. I have to connect up your account, but I don't know if you want to start with that yet. You don't really have content. Um, with my stuff, I have uh, like my intro video, and you have yours, and all that. So those are getting uploaded today. Did you redo my intro video? What do you mean? Because I didn't like the thing where I was just sitting there. Remember we spoke about this? You just want stuff on top? Hmm? You just want stuff on top of it? No, I want it to be a, a compilation of like a lot of what I do. Yeah. Do you do that? I have other clips for it. I can do it. I made two versions. Two versions of the sit down? But I told you I didn't want the sit down. No, I know. One is just a sit down and one is going to be like the compilation. So no. I have the clips for it. Everything's cut up already. <laughs> Steph is like one of one of the <laughs> one of the people and they say Did you do the thing? Did I export it? No, but I have all the clips ready. Steph, of yes. course you have all the clips. Everything is on the hard drive. No. <laughs> if I go in if no, wait, how long is your intro vid? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay. Why? How long is yours? I like how I'm asking you that even though I did it. Um so, <laughs> if I say to you, <laughs> if I say to you, show me the the file with all the little clips that you're gonna grab from, that is that you cut up intentionally for my intro video, because as I, this is what I think. I think you did not even remember, even though we spoke about this multiple times. Because when I just asked you, these you accusations were have clueless. been building. No, it's building you. what? You just said it right now, and I, I didn't even remember about this shit. But I know that we spoke about it multiple times, Mark, and I hated I what can, you did. I can show you exactly. So why is it that you did yours and you didn't do mine? I did do yours. Is yours exported? Yeah. Yours is too. You literally just said it's not exported. Steph, I told the you. The version I of you just talking, well, I, told I, I told you I have two you, versions. No, I told you from the very beginning that I did not want to do that. Regardless of what it is, that's still the piece, that's still the audio that I'm going to use. Do you understand? Yeah, but okay, the so audio and like. Overlaying the stuff takes no time. I have it cut up already specifically for you. But why, but why would you have the shit that I don't want exported and ready and the stuff that I specifically asked for, knowing that you have yours, like why don't you do mine? That's what I'm saying. Because I've been working on yours. And the first one's done and exported, both of ours are. The versions with it just talking. So we can have it so I, I can have it for clips to cut up later. But I also have the one of literally all the clips of your shit just that I have to put on top of that same file. It's the same thing. Everything's horseshit. Those socks are horseshit. Oh no, these are happy socks. Fuck you. Actually, these are express. These are very, very expensive and they're super cute. So mm -hmm. that's every that's categorically untrue. Um, yeah, but um, I'm very, very excited about today. Today's Friday. Um, 
Gee, you doing anything after work? So, um, my friend said I that he thinks that they only allow two people on DoorDash, but turns out that I already had a DoorDash account and I just didn't sign. But they fucked up my email because they spelled it P H I L I P instead of P H I L L I P. So, the technical department is gonna fix it and then send the email to me and all I have to do is sign and then I'm on. So if I get that by today, then we'll go tonight. And uh, my friend is trying to see if he can get a third person on his thing. Mm. So if that works out, then we'll go tonight. If not, then tomorrow. Tomorrow. You want? You don't want to do tonight? I, I'm getting a tomorrow. Oh, so even though we spoke about it and you said... I forgot about it. I forgot that I was getting a Yeah. So tomorrow. And then he... He says, no, I have my shit together. And so this is what happened yesterday. I'm thinking about work for the most part. This is like a, I, I forgot. I need to, I'm Stuff going with a Stuff is a friend. piece of shit. Because here's what happens all the time. <clears throat> I do everything to make his life easier. And then he just complains and complains and complains. And then he points a finger at me and he says, you're not doing. Rah, rah, rah. And I'm like, what? And so, for example, I said to him about the door that shit because like he was having issues with his money from the government. It turns out that we can't get into it, but he is missing six hundred dollars. I said to him, let's do the DoorDash thing. My guy said nothing back to me. I'm good. He's the one who needs help. He said nothing back. And then when the, the fucking everything came down, he's moping around, he's fucking and he's saying I'm abusive and I'm this and I'm that. Everything is on me. When I said it to him, I called him. I messaged him in a fucking frenzy. Like, yes, I figured it out. I see how we can make some supplementary income. You know what he said to me? Great. That was it. And then he says, I'm the piece of shit. Okay. And he said nothing. So yesterday he was going on and on. And I'm like, well, I suggested something. You didn't seem interested. How did I not seem interested? You said nothing. Okay. And I'm the bad guy. All right. Did you reach out to any of the people that I told you to reach out to so you can see if we can get some jobs? Steph, you said you were going to send me a list of companies that I can reach out to for a um, no, video. That. You know Mark. I said to you, you know Mark. You can call Mark if you want. And then I went, you deal with the people. Why don't you do it? That's exactly what I because said. Because this is your initiative. Like, why? Why is it that you can't do it? Like, you know, Mark. And I told you, if I'm focused on one thing, I'm not going to spread myself thin stuff. Like, I can't be doing all of these things at the same time. So I said, reach out to Mark. This is what is happening around these parts, but... Everything's on me. I've tapped out. Everything's on me. <laughs> Mark anyway. is distancing himself from me, taking weird phone calls outside. What weird phone calls outside? Not saying shit, not texting, not talking, <laughs> and I'm to blame. <laughs> You know, people with the I'm victim. to blame. Steph has this like crazy victim mentality that I'm like so over. I don't even address it. It's just like I'm done. <laughs> I'm Yesterday, I went and I bought lunch for the two of us. And he came and he came and he put his, his thing on my desk and whatever. And he didn't say shit. <laughs> he fucking just grabbed his food and put it on the other side. And I was like, oh. playing the victim, I see. It's like over, over break. I called him and he's like, oh, you've been a piece of shit to me. You don't call me. I'm like, are you sure? Because I feel like I'm the one calling you right now because you, you didn't call me. But, you know, that, that's also whatever. <laughs> if you wanted to talk, you could have just talked. He didn't talk, but it's on me to talk to you, even though I bought you lunch and went, you know, it's what, but you know what? I'm the problem. <laughs> Maybe I should have a conversation with the gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, myself. I think you should. I think you should. But considering we, past events, I think I think we should. But can you do that on your thing? Because I'm gonna. I think um, I wanna get started on my 
is what we got to do today because I want to send a lot of emails out today because there are lots of new shit on Street Review. Send it out. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really, really pumped. I'm really excited, you guys. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am because this shit is awesome. Oh, I know what I can do. Abuse will be more. I'll go with my mom tonight because me and her were talking this morning and she was saying like, why don't we go tonight? I was like, well, I'm going with Seth, so I'll go, I'll go with her because I, I need the money. Um, so I'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, um, any last words? No. Cool. Anyway, so listen to me. You're going to hear some really, really good things next week because I'm hoping that we get some really, really good responses today. I feel pretty good. It's happening. Yes. I'm so excited. Anyway, I love you. And I love you. Be kind to yourself first. What they say.